But let's get right to the race that everybody is watching. We start at 43rd and Leavenworth and the Brad Ashford campaign. Here's reporter Nick Starling. Well, Craig, Jen, this is a nail biter between Brad Ashford and Kara Eastman. It looks like we'll have to wait a little bit longer to see if we'll have a rematch between Ashford and Bacon, as this is as close as it gets. Now, Ashford himself hasn't made an appearance here in his room, but the room is filled with Ashford supporters watching this race closely. At one point, it was as close as 14 votes, then started to separate just a little bit to 68 votes as it is right now. Now I talk with Ashford's campaign manager, Jim Rogers, who says he's watching the numbers closely, but thinks Ashford will come out on top. Well, it's definitely tighter than I anticipated, uh, but I think that, that what we're seeing, uh, and we'll, I think we'll continue to see throughout the night, is that we'll be able to prevail and, and uh, be able to move on to the general election. It's certainly uh, what, I, what I'm definitively seeing is, is def definite enthusiasm on the Democratic side of the fence. Uh, with the Democratic votes far outpacing the Republican votes. Ashford is used to these close races. As you remember, back in 2016, he lost to Bacon by just one percentage point as a close one when he also won against then incumbent Lee Terry. Well, now we talked with Ashford earlier today. He says having a very competitive primary race helps the Democratic Party, but did it help Eastman too much? We'll have to wait and see the results later on. I just see Brad Ashford now walking in the door here. We'll see if there's any comments from him coming up here a little bit shortly, but we'll keep monitoring the results as they come in. Again, just 68 votes separate Eastman and, and uh, Brad Ashford as well. Here is uh, Mr. Ashford as he's uh, coming through here. If we can get Mr. Ashford. <laughs> Less than 100, is that what it is? 68 yes. votes. 68 well, that's a lot of votes. Well, what, what are you thinking? You know, I trust the voters, and, and we'll just wait and see what happens. I'm, I'm, you know, it's been a great race, and I certainly uh, congratulate Car Eastman on the on the great race she ran. I, you know, the, well, I think what this shows is a tremendous amount of enthusiasm for change in Washington, and uh, that's what this is all about. Did you expect it to be this close, just 68 votes? You know, I didn't really know. Uh, I, you know, I thought I, I, I you know, I, I again, I, I really thought that. Uh, you know, the car ran a great race, and uh, so I assumed it would be close. I mean, but I think what's important here is is how we're going to change Washington and solve the problems uh, of our country, which are not being solved. So uh, that's what I think that, that's what this vote indicates. Okay, well, thank you. We're going to be waiting to hear from you. Oh, I'm going to go speak, I guess. Mr. Ashford, if, if you do come out on top, are you sure that Kara Eastman supporters will be supporting you in the general election? Oh, I have no idea. I, I, I'm confident that the Democratic Party will unite because the, the need for change in Washington uh, to, to, to solve the issues uh, of the health care issues, the immigration issues, gun violence, uh, those things those things are not being uh, resolved. We, we have a tax bill that didn't work for middle class Americans. Uh, it, you know, I think the real issue here is the, this is a real positive at night. It's, I, I, I look upon it as really a celebration of the fact that uh, the current administration, the Republican majority in the House and the Senate, are not responding to the needs of Americans. That's what this is, vote is about. So what's important is that we go to Washington, the Democrats take the House, and that we start to uh, address the needs of, uh, of Americans. And, and that's not happening. This administration is an absolute travesty, and, and there is no check and balance on their excesses, on the chaos that exists in Washington. So uh, I fully, um, I mean, I think the race is great. I mean, I, I think the fact that there's so much enthusiasm and so much positive um, response by the voters to, to both of us. All right, thank you, Mr. Ashford. I appreciate it. There is uh, Brad Ashford live for you. We'll have more comments as he addresses the crowd here. Reporting live, Nick Starling, 3 News Now.